Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kaiser Reich. Hard to buy 4 as the United Kingdom. Let's continue on where we last off. So, we're still invading the United States. The, uh, the CSA, I guess I should say to be more specific. And one thing I did forget, uh, which we didn't get a pop-up or anything uh, for it. But, uh, when Canada is at war with the CSA, Mexico has a chance to join in on the war. So Mexico's also at war with us, so that's fantastic. They only have like 50 divisions, so it's not, like it's not a huge deal. But it still kind of sucks. The BSA is still pushing our way out. We're still pushing our way down south. Which is, everything here is going pretty, pretty okay, I would say. Uh, this Whatever song this is, is extremely quiet. That's fine. Whatever. So our goal here, one, is defeat the CSA. And I guess also defeat Mexico um, as well. And after that, we still need to deal with Japan. And what is our plan for doing that? Well, that's a great question. Um, if you look at at least the faction tree, we can see that we do have a lot of territory right here. So we're going to help, probably help India beat the commune here. So we can actually have some sort of naval base around this region. Navally evade our way to Siam and then try to navally invade our way to Japan. Like, we do have more boats than they do. Our fleet is larger than the Japanese fleet. So we should still have like, I mean, actually we don't need to do that. We can we could just go from Australia up to Japan and ignore all this nonsense. And I think that, you know, that probably just makes more sense. India probably is fine. I mean, the commune is still fighting a two-front war. I don't think they're going to be lasting too, too much longer. So our fleet. All of you guys just dock for right now. I really don't think you need to be doing anything too, too crazy. I mean, are we building more boats? Like we should be. Stop building all these convoys. I have enough convoys. We should be okay on that front. And we also need more fuel. Unfortunately for us... Also, I'm importing way too much goods. I'm assuming just because I don't have enough uh, supplies to make everything I need. Get less chromium. That should all be fine. I mean, we're getting more aluminum than we need from Germany, but we can have... It's fine. It's not a big deal. Do we have any... Sat like... Is there any countries within our... Like, not really. No. So, Iran has a lot of oil. So, as soon as India defeats Iran, which they should do soon. I don't know why they're having such a huge problem with this, seeing as most of these territories are completely empty. Uh, we'll just pop it Iran and get a lot of oil out of them, which will be fantastic for us. We'll get it at a much cheaper price than we would uh, trading with anybody else. So, let's just uh, continue on for now. Yellow... Or orange, I should say. Does not actually have a battle plan. So you're going to push your way uh, down to here. Find all these divisions. So that front line. You guys are still looking pretty, pretty okay. I mean, I don't think the CSA is going to win. I mean, we're already pushing our way to Washington. We've already taken Chicago. Like, how close to the capitulation? They are at about 54%. Not great, to be completely honest. We just basically got to keep pushing our way down south. United States is big. big. It's a big place. We got to take over a lot of it. Uh, we do need more chromium. We'll get that from South Africa. At some point, we'll also have to attack South Africa, but not uh, right now. Again, how many troops do you have, South Africa? Uh, about 30 divisions, which is quite a bit. I mean, they do love us. But you did not join our faction. So we might still need to invade you. I'm sorry to say. We have a lot of ships here, so I'm going to send these ships right now to Australia. That should be okay. We are trading on some more troops. I think we're waiting on... Is it support equipment we're still waiting on? Yes, we need, a, we need a ton of it. And we're not getting all that we need. I'm working 24 a day. How much do we need? We need... I mean, the short will only last 76 days. That's not that bad. To be completely honest, you know, that's by like February, everything should have uh, resolved itself. Yeah, we should be completely okay. Like the PSA, they can't join our faction, I think, unfortunately. I think Mexico's actually going to get them to capitulate, which is just sad. Yeah, so he's almost taken Washington. Send you guys at Dover, at least for right now, so we can maybe push our way here. And purple, you need a better battle plan than that, because that one is a little bit outdated. So you're going to push your way all the way to Georgia. 
that for you three, you can stay here. Delete this plan. Of course, you're going to keep wanting to attack Washington. Because that is a city that does need to fall. I mean, Purple's looking like they're doing pretty okay up here. But do they need to be up here? Like, our ally has a lot of men here. So, you know what? Purple or pink. I'm going to deploy you, like, right here. And uh, New England and Canada should hopefully be strong enough to deal with that. I mean, things are looking pretty okay. Pink, you're going to need a front line, which is going to be, hey, go to Charleston and the coast. Yeah, so Brown Army is going to kind of go over here around to New Orleans. Purple is going to push here. Pink is going to kind of, like, smoosh them together. Which I think should work okay. Just delete this battle plan so you don't actually go to it right now. That's great. Hopefully the PSA doesn't capitulate. Because that will make... It just makes lives more difficult for me. A little bit more decryption. Fantastic. Um, Aviation. Let's get two more dockyards. That should be okay. War propaganda. We're already 100%. Don't need to worry about that. I don't think our ships are here quite yet. Like, I kind of want to send all my ships down to Australia. This is going to cost a ton of oil. What happens when I don't have oil? We have 6,000 fuel. We have about a day's worth of fuel left. So I might need to import, like, a ton of it. Like, literally give me, like, seven, 18 factories of oil. At least for right now. Current gains 10,000. That's not great. How much how many factories do I have? I have one factory left. I'm trading all of it for oil. Okay, now I have no now I have no fuel. Not great. I actually want some more more synthetic refineries as well. No, okay. I mean, our planes, our boats just really have to get to a location. That's all they have to do. And we'll deal with the consequences later. Okay, so Dover should fall. The CSA is at 44%. Okay, Mexico, like, the Mexico's not that strong. Jack Reed's not that strong either, so... No, I have, like, no fuel, so I can't really deal with this right now. Armory is not receiving all the fuel it needs. It needs 1,000, and we're getting 1.2. But actually, I think I'm actually not importing any fuel. Because I can't actually fuel the convoys to get here. Which does sound like an issue. Where are you guys? I mean, okay, they're all slowly getting there. So that's fine. As long as they get there in the end. I don't think they're going to really meet any resistance. I don't think the Japanese are going to fight them. Finland has declared war on the Russian Republic. Finland is not in our faction. Okay, I, I was worried for a moment that we actually had Finland in our faction. But luckily, that seems like it's not an issue. Why does this front line keep shrinking? Thank you very much. So, Richmond's about to fall. I mean, like, we're doing pretty alright, I would say. In our, uh, in our goal here. And I want all you guys to be aggressive. So, this is looking pretty okay. Will Russia attack Ukraine? That's a great question, but for right now, I'm just, like, not even going to worry about it. Delete, delete these plans. So where... I mean, I need to send these troops over to... Uh, Asia. But I need to do it there, like, safely. Okay, all you guys get to Svestopol. 
all you guys get to Sevastopol, so we can actually transport you out of uh, Eastern Europe. You know, put you somewhere a little bit more useful. I don't know how useful it will be to transport troops from Canada, like from like Vancouver Island across the ocean. I mean, I guess we could do that. We do have friendly superiority basically everywhere until we get to exactly the coast of Japan. But even then, they're not actually that strong there. But where are my boats? I'm going to have some naval guys go here. Go to Vancouver Island. As fast as you possibly can. So I have like some guys pushing through the north. And some people go from here uh, across. I mean, Russia could still theoretically join our faction in May of 1942, but will they actually do that? I mean, they're market liberal. We're market liberal. So we're, we have the same ideology. So my fingers are crossed that the answer to that question is yes, but I'm also not holding out much hope. I'm going to actually upgrade our transport ships again. If I can find out, there they are. Are we ahead of time? We're actually, we're still two years ahead of time. Not great. Marines are still ahead of time. You know what? A year on night scopes, that's fine. Night vision. Oh, we got some more troops here ready to go. Oh, all the Marines. Fantastic. So the Marine Divisions, you guys are go to deploy to uh, Dover right now. You are going to be very important for our, our operations. And then you guys will just be under a new commander, at least for right now. Garrison London, I'll figure out what to do with you afterwards. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the American situation is just going to resolve itself eventually. You know what, Marines? You are going to do a naval invasion from Vancouver Island to uh, Tokyo. Yeah, maybe like not like that though. Um, is there like a northern port? There is. Like the North Island. There you go. That's going to be your invasion plan for right now. If you can make your way over there. I know there's going to be a lot of sea routes we need to uh, cover with our ships. But that'll be fine. Lack of civilian factories. I Because our consumer goods are too high. Like we really need to. Uh, I should have done this like so long ago. Deal with the trade unions. But I just never actually did. Like how much fuel? I'm gaining 10,000 fuel a day. But I'm just spending a ton because we're... Until my boats are docked, we're not going to have any actual fuel in reserves, which is an issue. So we, have, we, have a, we have a large fleet. How big is our navy right now? It is for almost 400 ships strong. Which is quite a bit. That's a lot of boats. So that should be done... Oh, a run. Fantastic. Um... I'm just going to take all your states. Thank you very much. Even though we weren't involved in the fighting directly, you know, India is basically the minion of ours. I mean, they have the same portrait, so it's essentially me doing it. Yeah, but I desperately need that oil. As you can already see, fuel is going back up, which is fantastic. So we're going to liberate Persia. The little strip here, which looks really bad. So, mark state, mark state, transfer. Take this off. So, Ron, I need your oil, like, very badly. How much oil do you actually have? Do you not have oil? You do not have oil? No, it does. Okay. Got a decent amount. I would like all of it. I mean, our trade influence is too low. There we go. Like it's it's my satellite state. I have no. F okay, get rid of this. There we go. So we're buying all this fuel now for two factories. I mean, I can keep buying all of Venezuela's fuel as well. It means I can actually start trading up some rubber with the AOG. That is completely A-OK. -okay. Everybody here, just keep getting assigned to blue. You're probably going to be useful for the invasion 
of uh, Japan at some point. Just not right now. I don't know why the purple... The pink front line keeps shrinking and I have no idea why. Just stay... A normal size, my dude. And push your way across. Orange doesn't have a battle plan. So you're actually going to spearhead your way straight to uh, New Orleans. And that should be okay, I think. How many troops do you have, PSA? You have 65 divisions. That's really not great. I mean, even New England has more than that. I'm not too sure what you've been doing this whole time. But our ships are docked. We got some maritime investment. Fantastic. Some uh, aviation investments as well. When you like a thousand political power. What do you do with a thousand political power? Well, let's go for small ships manufacturing. That should be fine. I mean, total mobilization doesn't do anything for us. Like, it's more or less just... I mean, we can go up to all adult serve. No, we can actually go to serve by requirement. We haven't even done that yet. So, that'll give us basically doubling our, uh, our manpower pool here. Okay, so you guys are here now. Well, for right now, you guys are going to have a fallback line... I mean, again, there's no chance of you getting attacked here, right? I mean, no valid sea route. Can you get to here? Do I have access to Constantinople? God damn it. Well, you guys are both just going to, um... Garrison... Here? And you know what? You figure out how to get there yourself. I'm guessing you have to go the other way. Yeah. Okay, fine. Apparently they can't get through Turkey. Which is just a little bit annoying for me, but what can you do? Okay, so Germans uh, canceled the lease. Apparently the PSA got one little chunk of territory here for some reason. I'm not too sure uh, why that happened. But we'll just ignore it for now. I'm sure it's not a big deal. Got some more assigned divisions. Keep assigning them into Blue Army. Like, Russian will give me a straight access. Far East Direction. Okay, that could get them at War Japan. Which would give them, I think, even more reason to actually uh, join our side. Yes, yeah, just attack. If you attack Japan, that would make my life a lot simpler. I mean, actually, I don't see any Russian troops on our... Okay, there's one Russian troop on our border. But that's really not a lot. So I'm assuming most of them might just be on the border with... Japanese. Uh, the Qing look like they're going to capitulate at some point soon. The AOG have 104 divisions. The Qing have also a, they have so much manpower, but they apparently just cannot hold on to uh, their gains, unfortunately. Okay, so it looks like the commune should die soon. Finland and Russia have ended hostilities. Okay, looks like Finland did lose some territory, so good work on your invasion plan there, smart guy. Didn't really accomplish much. Got a 98. Just keep on. I'm guessing this just goes to this PSA because New England doesn't have a claim on any of this territory. Which is unfortunate, but what can you do? But it'd be really nice if they stopped. Um, you know what? Can I have military access for you? Thank you. That'll at least solve some of my, my border issues I've been having so far. Yes, Things are going okay. Kind of. I mean, we're, we're going to win. There's no question about that. All you guys keep on deploying to blue. I mean, they should be fine there, I think. How many ships arrived yet? Yes, I think most of them have. I'm sure some of them are probably still sailing. No, actually, no. They've all they've all gone to where they need to be. Fantastic. Definitely, guys that are in southern England. What can you do about that? Just like Doc, I don't need to be doing anything right now. 
Go to the Marine Divisions. I don't think you've arrived yet. I actually have no clue where you even are. Okay, no, there you are. How long do you get to Vancouver? It's going to take you 22 days. Okay. It's not unreasonable, I would say. Where are you guys going? Like, couldn't you not get through here? Am I crazy? Like, that wasn't even possible. Yeah, I don't think there's any enemy ships around here, is there? No, we got a handful of friendly ships, but yeah, there's nobody here that'll actually pose a threat to us. Which is good news for us. The Canadians and uh, New England is doing some fantastic work here. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not enjoy, call me thumbs down. Watch me subscribe and goodbye.